Hey everybody, Copeman250 here. And uh, this is going to be episode two of the uh, wood shop transformation. And every time I come out here to the big barn for some reason, I really like to uh, light this old perfection heater. Maybe it's the nostalgic part of it, but you know, it, it I don't know, it's relaxing. <laughs> it gives off a great warm warm glow it keeps it in use you know these things this one's I don't know I'm just guessing probably from somewhere around the 50s but it just it's relaxing it's relaxing to see that glow of that fire it's not really for heating purposes uh, I mean I got the big door halfway open and I got the other door open in here but what it does do is really throws off a beautiful warm relaxing light and it also gives me a spot to uh, keep my old coffee pot warm while I'm out here working it's just relaxing something about it I don't know what it is that and and even new modern kerosene heaters to tell you the truth there's something warm and relaxing about any kind of flame an old oil lamp an old kerosene lantern a wood stove a pellet stove you know even modern stuff um, if you have a natural gas stove you know a gas log my grandpa converted his uh, wood fireplace over to a natural gas log and uh you know it was relaxing just sitting by a flame takes you back to the root <laughs> to the root of our ancestors you know they did everything with that anyway just kind of wanted you to understand why i like this whole thing it's not for heat it's for warmth and relaxing and nostalgia while i'm out here in the old barn all right so kind of give you an overview of where i'm at here this is where I'm starting at today. Still got to do something with these boxes here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I got a lot of them big square boxes out of here the other day. So that helps free up some room. Trying to move slow. <laughs> I cleaned up this area where I had the scrap wood. Kind of making a wall here just for uh, maybe a backdrop for some of my talking videos and stuff like that. We'll address the hole later. <laughs> and then back where we started. So I'm going to do some stuff and I'll come back with you. All right. So a little bit more. <laughs> Waiting on my boy to get home so he can help me move these uh, big boxes. Got this old TV. <laughs> the old console TV. It was here when I moved here. 10 or 12 years ago or so. It's been over there in that corner. And uh, that's a bunch of stuff. A lot of that's going to be burnt. But uh, I'll keep those bigger pieces of plywood. Anyway, we're starting to get a little moving around room here. <laughs> oh, man. It's a beautiful day. It's uh, probably 40 degrees outside. It may have warmed up a little bit more since I've been out here. This hole in the wall back here, I'll take you around on the outside and show you. They had added on a room and they just used old sawmill lumber and the termites and and whatever got it and it's fell off the over here where i showed you my wall where i'll probably do it uses a backdrop it's got the old color thermometer and stuff on there that is that used to be the door going into that room and it looked like maybe it was a tool room or a uh 
Uh, maybe they kept feed in there too, because I remember seeing a lot of feed. I think the people who lived here before me had horses, and uh, they used it for for a feed and and uh, maybe a tack room or something. But anyway, it's it's fell off, it fell apart. When it warms up this spring, I'm gonna get my truck out there and just rip the whole thing, whatever's left of it off. And I'm gonna strip all, there's some good plug-ins and some light switches and stuff out there, some outdoor heavy duty ones. I'm gonna strip all that out. I'm gonna strip the, uh, the wire out and I'm gonna run some more plug-ins in here. I'll probably strip that stuff out here pretty soon. It, it won't, I won't wait till spring for that. But then I'm just gonna rip that part off and I'll probably use the pin that's on the roof and just put it on the outside as siding. But on the inside, I'll probably, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I got an old, a lot of old sawmill one by that it's, it's been weathered a lot and uh, it's been out in the weather a lot. I may just stick them up there and screw them to it like an old barn wood looking wall and just to cover up the wall on the inside and then I can hang a shelf or something on there. But, uh, uh, there's so many, so much stuff I want to do, but uh, my daughter's already got me projects going for when I get the wood shop up and up and done. And uh, one of them, she wants me to just make her a cork board, uh, a peg board or whatever you want to call it, so she can hang pictures and stuff on it. That's a big thing right now, apparently. <laughs> but I'll be that'll be probably one of my first wood shop projects, and it's going to be super simple, just some miter cuts and uh, build a frame, and then. I'll show you what I'll use for the cork board in the middle, but uh, that's that's on on down the road. Uh, I got the safe that's up there on the on that metal table. That safe, I want to get it painted and get it back in the house and get it out of my way out here. Pretty much, I'm just gonna do a quick sanding on it, hit it with some high temp paint because that's what I got, and uh, maybe make it look good. And I may drop that safe with the combination and the face, the door up underneath the library prayer closet seat, if it'll fit. I gotta do some measurements, but uh, if you guys remember that project, uh, that way when I lift the seat, it'll kind of be hidden. I mean, I'm not trying to hide it, but at least it'll be out of the way and, and hopefully it'll fit down in there. So anyway, uh, uh, the wood stove project is coming up. I would, I'd love to do it soon. But uh, there are so many other things on the plate right now that I, I need to get done so I can have room to work in here. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting rid of uh, trash. Uh, th this place, like I said, this was a catch-all, catch-all. <laughs> when our catch-alls got full, we moved it out here. <laughs> so I am fighting that battle of getting all this stuff. Uh, cleaned up our outdoor Christmas stuff is going to have a corner over here. That's the shelves You've seen the Santa Claus up top and a couple of totes. That's going to be uh, our outdoor You know, it's going to be out here. I mean, it's not just going to be wood shop stuff This is also going to be some storage the rabbit cages will be moving next door and uh, I mean Realistically, I feel a whole lot better now that I got some walking room in here and maybe this summer, after the spring rains dry up, I may get a load of gravel uh, dropped there at the door and spread it out in here a little bit. Because uh, this is just dirt floor, and when the spring rains come, it gets, it gets pretty wet in here. Now, since I've cleaned it up a lot, it's been staying a whole lot drier. You know, when you keep stuff on the ground, it draws moisture. So... We'll see what happens. It's been, like I said, a whole lot drier in here since I started cleaning up the floor and shutting the doors and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, this, and Wyatt Juan Abel said this a lot, or uh, said it back in the comments. There's just something about hanging out in the shop. And, uh, you know, especially the nostalgic feel of hanging out in the wood shop People have been working with wood for, for so many years, and I'm not no carpenter. I'm not a woodworker, a craftsman, anything like that. I do things to get it done, to, to make things useful in my house, and, and to save money instead of buying it. 
first of all, because anytime you buy anything, pretty much it's just junk nowadays. You know, if I build a shelf out here, it's going to last the rest of my life if I want it to. And I can shoot it with a coat of paint as the fads change. <laughs> but if I go down to the big box store and I buy a shelf, you know, it, it's junk. Um, if I go to move it, the, the holes may strip out. You know how it is. It's just junk. And but but growing up, my grandpa was a contractor, carpenter. You know, he he did it all. He owned a cabinet shop, and he owned a cabinet shop. And the town he lived in was a small town, and it had the old Main Street. You know where they had uh, square dances. Uh, what do they call it? They had. Uh, not square dances, they had the old street dance, um, I guess, street dance where they set up, they walked off downtown, they had a, a band up there, and they set up some bleachers where you could listen to the band and people could dance out there. Um, but right along Main Street there was the old buildings, you know how all old towns have the, the strip and all them buildings connected together from like the 30s and, and the 40s, and, and even earlier than that in some cases. But there was an old movie theater, you know, about every town had a movie theater back in the day. And the old movie theater theater had fell in. It had two different shows you could watch, but it fell in. But right beside that, he had a cabinet shop. He rented one of those old buildings. And uh, it was it was it was a big building, you know. It was he'd stripped all the walls out and then built some walls up in the front for his office and then the whole back was his shop. And I hung out in that shop a whole lot as a kid. Uh, it was just just awesome and now that I'm I'm putting together a workshop a wood shop here at my house where I can you know have my table saws and stuff like that it just brings back a lot of memories and, and I've been thinking about him a lot today uh, you know and then just it <laughs> it's just like one of them things in your life you know that uh, that feels good and and having this wood shop out here, you know, for my boy, teach him some of the stuff that my grandpa taught me. It's uh it's gonna be an awesome deal. And I appreciate you guys watching and coming along for the for the ride on this one. because uh, it means a lot to me in my heart. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to it.